Hi friends! It's me again, Hans Mortel. Question, ngayon bang new normal gumagamit ka lagi ng mga conferencing apps like Zoom, Skype, StreamYard to get in touch with your family and your friends or for your work at home job or dahil nagbibenta ka ng mga products online? At gusto mo ba na ma-improve ang video quality ng iyong uh, feed ng hindi ka gagastos? Kung oo ang sagot mo, stick around until the end of the video because I will teach you how. At eto na siya, friends. As you might have noticed, o oh, di ba, yung video is now clearer, crisper, um, walang naiba sa setup, um, walang naiba sa ilaw, walang naiba sa sound. You know what I did? All I did was just use my Canon M50 instead of my uh, built-in webcam dun sa laptop. Now, Tatanungin ninyo, okay, so paano, kung, paano mo ngayon yan um, magagamit to stream sa Skype, sa Zoom, sa StreamYard, and all that? Okay, so get ready. Have a list down dahil sasabihin ko na sa inyo kung ano ang inyong mga kakailanganin. Unang-una, you would need to download the Canon EOS utility for your particular brand of Canon camera. Let me just say this. Um, iba-ibang brands ng Canon, merong ibang version ng Canon EOS utility kayong kakailanganing i-download. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, I will put in the links in the description kung saan mga kung saan site ninyo download yung utility uh, program na yan ng Canon EOS. The next thing you need is a USB um, cable na ang kabilang dulo ay micro USB para makonect mo ngayon yung iyong Canon camera sa iyong PC or iyong laptop. Kailangan, again, ulitin ko, it should be capable of transferring data. Maraming nabibiling ganon sa Lazada or sa CDR King at mura lang naman siya. And I'm, I'm sure baka nga, baka nga ikaw, meron ka sa bahay mismo ng uh, isang uh, micro USB cable na hindi mo na ginagamit. So, pwede yon. So, First two things, you have the Canon EOS utility um, for uh, Canon cameras and then the USB cable. The third thing you need is to have OBS Studio in your PC or your laptop. Right now, I am recording this video in my laptop using OBS Studio. Um, ang maganda po dyan sa OBS Studio na yan, while your camera is connected, yung pagre-record niya, it happens in your PC or your laptop. It's not recording in your camera, but it's recording in your PC or your laptop. Parang ang naging function niya ay um, video capture device na siya. And then, when you have downloaded OBS already, medyo may learning curve lang, pero madali lang naman. Ako nga, hindi pa rin ako ganun kagaling. Um, with it, um, maraming tutorial sa YouTube how to use it, to stream live on Facebook, to stream live on YouTube. Marami ding uh, um, tag dito. Tutorials how to connect nga your um, DSLR camera to OBS for streaming. Ang dami po niyan sa YouTube. And that's where I learned, kaya hindi ko na siya isasama dito. Ang hindi ko na hanap, mahanap-hanap noon sa YouTube ay yung kung paanong yung feed mo sa OBS ay makikita ng um, Skype, ng Zoom, at saka ng StreamYard. They didn't have that. And that is what I discovered today. So, you have, you have OBS already. Ngayon naman, 
magda-download ka ng plugin mo sa OBS which is the OBS Virtual Cam. A uh, plugin yan for OBS. I'll also have the links in the description how to download it. And it's as simple as that. So you have those four things. Um, you have the um, Canon EOS utility so that your camera can communicate with your PC through a USB cable. Um, again, ulitin ko, USB cable lang ang kailangan mo, hindi HDMI cable. USB cable lang. And then, you need to download um, OBS. And then, when you have downloaded OBS Studio, magda-download ka ngayon ng plug-in for it, which is called the OBS Virtual Cam. And then, you have all of that running already. And now, you are watching me um, with my Canon M M50 connected to my laptop and I'm recording this through OBS and what I'm gonna do now is show you how you can now um, connect this feed to the video conferencing video conferencing apps that I've mentioned all right friends so Etna, you are now looking at my OBS um, with no, tapos nilagay ko lang dun sa babang side yung aking uh, cam feed para makita din yo kung ano yung next step. So the next step, pag na uh, tag dito, pag na connect na natin yung ating DSLR sa OBS program natin, the next step now para makapag broadcast tayo sa Skype at saka sa Zoom or sa StreamYard is you go into the Tools tab ng OBS tapos there you will see the Virtual Cam. Yan na ngayon ang ating um, susunod na gagawin. We will start it now. Wait lang. Ibahin ko lang yung settings. Yan. Uh, buffered frames, nilagay ko lang sa 1. And then you just click start. Alright. So, ngayon, na 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 natin yung virtual cam. Um, pwede ko na itong uh, ibalik ulit sa usual um, tag dito. And then you just move this to the side or anywhere. Uh, tapos ngayon, i-hide na natin yung display capture para ang nakikita nyo na lang ay yung mukha ko. And now, what we're gonna do is um, fit this, transform this, and fit this to screen. Ayan. And then, na-on na natin yung ating um, tag dito, yung ating virtual cam. Again, you just go to the tools tab, you click on virtual cam, and you press start. Now, what we are gonna do next is um, go to, uh, for example, we're using StreamYard. Okay, so now, friends, you are now looking at the uh, um, page for StreamYard. Um, ito yung page ko. So, ang mangyayari, um, i-click na natin ngayon yung Enter Broadcast Studio. And then, for the cam and mic, makikita mo na ang unang option niya is yung webcam. And then, magpapalit ka lang ngayon dito sa OBS camera. Ayan. You are now in StreamYard using the OBS virtual cam. Ayan. So, um, Kaya yun yung nakikita nyo, uh, dahil pinakita ko lang sa inyo yung page. But now, when you go back to OBS, 
and uh, you revert back to the uh, original window capture, makikita dun din ngayon sa, uh, sa, sa StreamYard na yun na yung feed na lumalabas. So yun, nakita natin that it works with StreamYard and then I also tested this um, this way of using your DSLR sa Zoom. It works as well. So, ang la, tatandaan lang lagi natin is that kailangan once na makonect na yung ating DSLR sa OBS after nun, um, sa tools ng OBS, i-activate naman natin yung virtual cam. And then, whatever feed you have na kinakapture ng OBS, make sure na yun yung feed na gusto nyong ilabas either sa StreamYard, sa Zoom, or tsaka sa Skype. Because, of course, um, if you're not very familiar with OBS yet, um, may mga scenes siya. Uh, pareho ng mga pinakita ko sa inyo kanina na um, kinukuha, kinunan yung kung ano yung um, window na naka-display sa browser ko, kung ano yung... You, you just have to make sure na kung ano yung uh, feed na gusto nyo makita, yun yung, naka, yun yung active sa OBS. So... Ayun na friends, ganun lang kadali. Uh, magagamit nyo na ngayon yung inyong mas magandang DSLR na camera kesa dun sa built-in webcam nyo sa inyong PC or laptop. Uh, magagamit nyo na siya with your conference uh, call sa Zoom, sa Skype, or sa StreamYard. Ganun lang kadali. Basta... Upon activating yung virtual cam ng OBS, eh, siguraduhin nyo lang na yung feed ninyo na gusto nyo makita, yun yung active sa OBS ninyo. Okay? So, there you have it. Walang gastos, madali, mas magandang quality ng video for StreamYard, Skype, Zoom, and uh, this is gonna work in um, every other teleconferencing app as well. Um, kailangan lang lagi ang i-activate ninyo yung OBS Virtual Cam. So, see you. I hope this helped you. See you again on my next video. Bye!